So now this is the QD. Now when I loaded data into loaded these two tables into ClickView, I'll go back, I'll go to the backend and see what exactly is happening. So this is the table we have. In the backend, both the tables are linked to each other. Now how the linking happened is ClickView took the common field names between both the tables. So the common field names were sales order ID, row GUID, modified date, sales order ID, row GUID, modified date. Now what QQ understood is the primary key or the link between these two tables is the combination of these three keys. That means these three keys put together form a distinct key. The QQ put, took them and created a synthetic table. Synthetic table is ClickView's methodology of managing composite keys. When I say composite keys, when there are three keys common between two tables, I mean three fields which form a key and they are common, they are, they, that has to be linked between two tables. Generally, ClickView, if you have one to one, right, if you have just one common field between two tables, ClickView will make that relationship and that's the perfect relationship unless you want to change it. Otherwise, when you have this kind of a situation where you have three common fields, it creates a synthetic table. Synthetic table is not wrong. It is ClickView's methodology of managing three composite keys. But what uh, it works fine for lesser data. But when there's large amounts of data, because of the many to many relationships, it fails. So the best practice is to eliminate synthetic key in no matter what situation. So any application which has a synthetic key is a rejected application kind of rule. So you'll have to make sure that there is no synthetic key at all in the entire application. We'll see how to deal with it. Now, with our with our experience or with our understanding of the database, we know that the only link between these two tables is a sale order ID. So that's the foreign key primary key or the relationship between these two tables. The row GUID and modified date are not required to be associated. They don't form the common key. So what the like quick method to manage the synthetic keys, delete those or rename those common keys. So whenever you form a synthetic key, so you can change or like just drop the unwanted field. So whenever you want to eliminate the synthetic key, drop the unwanted field. So you, I have this row GUID and modified date, right? So I can drop it. Now I don't have to drop it from both tables. Either one table I drop it, it is enough. Because uh, the link won't happen because the field is not there in the other table. So if you look at it, the synthetic key is gone now. So click we automatically link sale order ID. This link is perfect for based on the database. So I'm good with this. Now if you look at the backend, so one method is to drop the fields. Second method is to rename these fields. So you can just rename this so that you don't lose out on these fields because you, you might want these fields for some other analysis. Renaming is uh, aliasing it, is using the keyword as, as test or sales detail row GUID. modified date. So reload. You still have those fields in the table, but they will not be linked. So if row GUID is here. In this sales order detail table, I have the row GUID in modified date. But the link is still in sales order ID. I can definitely make or break this relationship based on what. But in ClickView, the ground rule is if you want to make a relationship, the field names have to be common between two tables. So that brings us to the method. The only method that you can make or break a relationship is rename or alias the names. So for over here, sale order ID is linked to sale order ID. Now I realize sale order ID is not the primary key. Sale order ID is the primary key in sales order header, but in detail, it is the sale order detail. So you'll have to make sure you flip the names. So the only method is alias it, sale order ID, save it or reload it. Right. So that's the only method that you can change this association. You'll have to alias it with the names. Now still the sale order ID is linked, 
but at the back end you know that you have picked the different field and that's that's the right field to link it any questions here hello yeah if you don't want to break i mean and leave it this way the other method of managing this composite key right the synthetic key so there are two methods are basically drop the unwanted fields rename the unwanted fields or rename the unwanted fields or you can create a composite key just like how you do it in any other database or a data source you will have to use the sale order id right you can create a composite key concatenate the fields that are contributing to the composite key right modify date as whenever you are creating creating a composite key the best practice is to start it with a percentage sign so that you know that this is a composite key percentage key you just put that over here also you'll have to update that now you'll also have to make sure that this sale order id is also not common between both the tables so you just update it as st sales t10 so i have this key over here sale order id row guid modified date key so my new database or then or both the tables will be linked based on the new key if you observe the optimized load cracked because of the composite key but it's still okay we'll deal with that later so if you look at it the key is created now the associations are formed automatically so this is called as the associative property of clickview so based based on the common field names clickview will create associations or links you can call either one of it now you can make or break these associations by renaming the fields or making sure you create like uh, alias uh, fields with the fields that you want to be, you want it to be linked while you have two or more common field names between two tables it click we will create synthetic tables these synthetic tables are right for small data but when you go at a larger data scale i mean they behave weird so the best practice is eliminate synthetic key small or big applications just eliminate them once you eliminate the synthetic key the methods are rename the unwanted fields which are linked change drop the unwanted fields which are linked or create a composite key for the links that are there so what i would suggest is go ahead and create all the qeds into the uh, using the store commands and store them probably you can create couple of qeds right like how i have done because even you have the extra adventure works data base itself so you can create all these qeds test the different methods and then load it to the file and see what uh, how you can change the associations use alias names or changing the synthetic key 